Yeah, Chad King, virtual noob, back again. Yes, I am taking a break from the utterly dreadful um, lab I've been doing. Yeah, anyways, um, as you guys may or may not know, I play with UCS almost on a daily basis, meaning that I get to log into UCSM and check all kinds of crazy stuff every day. And yes, it is exciting. Um, it's cool. So, with that being said, I decided to get the train signal videos that, uh, you know, Kevin, or, I'm sorry, Kevin, <laughs> Jason Nash with uh, train, well, not with train signal, he's with Varro. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Jason Nash did some videos for train signal over the UCS and getting the first level certification. So, uh, I'm working on that certification, so I got those videos. I've heard a lot of good feedback. I, I love the the videos. Uh, Jason Nash, just know that you are not the only redneck out there doing videos. So you got another guy out there with you. Uh, my wife cracks jokes at me every day saying that I'm getting worse and worse. So thank God it, it, it's not a bad thing. It's a great thing. So um, anyways, I'm going to, you know, I download this from the Cisco developer site. Uh, you get a CCO account. You go in there. You log in. You download this as a developer tool. Uh, the reason why it's free is because that's the best way to promote development is you offer something free so that way all these crazy people will go and download it and they'll start inventing stuff, patenting it, you know, automating things, whatever else, you know, it just goes nuts. I love free stuff. This is a great tool. This really gets you what you need to get that first level cert. Um, beyond that, I'm not sure. Uh, I think later on the search will require you to have like some Cisco certifications and networking and I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Uh, you know, it's something that is on my radar. So I want to get this kind of out of the way and get it done. So anyways, we're going to extract the files. I downloaded this in a 7-zip. I'm using WinRAR to actually download it. Um, so that's kind of what I am using. Um, you can see here, uh, I'm just drilling down into my, my dedicated disk for my lab. This is kind of where I store uh, files and stuff like that so you can see that I have a spot for it already UCSMPE2 and I'm just going to extract this bad boy to here you can see in the background here I have VMware workstation I already have an emulator in place I'm just waiting for this to complete on the extraction this one here is already provisioned I just wanted to cover the whole process of bringing it into VMware workstation it's really super simple um, but you know virtual noob being that it's for virtual noobs that it would help anybody to you know learn how to do this you know eventually okay so let's take it finishing down here on the bottom you can't see it but it, it it completed here's my lab and right there is my UCSPE is that it yeah I think that there's it alright let's just click this file right here and that's a VMX file that, that one there is You'll see it says virtual machine configuration file. Man, you just double click that bad boy and it gets it goes in there. You know, you, you can even open it with VMware Player if you want to. Um, you ain't got to use VMware Workstation, but because I'm a VCP5, I get to be, uh, you know, um, one of those guys that gets a free license of VMware Workstation. So, hoorah, free cert. Now I thought I loaded that, but I might have clicked the wrong one because I probably already have it in there. So I bet it's this one right here. Oh, it is this one. Watch. See, and it comes up with this UCS platform. And, I mean, come on, right? Like you're going to leave that. Oh, yeah, you just rename this whatever's appropriate. Uh, UCSM is the abbreviation for uh, Unified Communication System Manager or something like that. Uh, that was just a, a guess. If I'm right, that would be hilarious. But all right, and that's pretty much it. All you would do after this is you would just power on the virtual machine. There's no point in me going through this because I'm going to cover that in the next video. I just wanted to cover how to do this whole import uh, process and cover it in some details. So anyways, have a great day. Again, this is Chad King, Virtual Noob. And remember, have fun playing with that UCS stuff. It's a lot of fun.